Yeah, that probably. was one of the like wrong decisions I made. But also, like the, the question is now, like they are hyper casual studio. Well, they were. Now, like you need to have designers with experience in match free. Yes, to build this, this is, type of this games. Is That's the completely thing. normal yeah. casual. Yeah, yeah, match, yeah, yeah. So a puzzle, yeah. puzzle game. Like, yeah. and and it's all based on your retention curve, which is the reflection of the quality of your level design, which is exactly this mechanics. Yeah puzzle setup and like how much you you know end up with these kind of this is no bullshit gaming podcast two and a half gamers sharing actionable insights dropping knowledge from our day-to-day -day user acquisition game design and ad monetization jobs we are definitely not discussing the latest industry news but having so much fun let's not forget this is a 4 a.m conference discussion vibe so let's not take it too seriously one oh my God. <laughs> Welcome everybody. This is uh, session number 89. My name is Matija Lancharic. I'm Felix Probert. And I'm Jakub Remiar. And we are your hosts. And we are also your consultants on the UA, ad monetization and game design side. So if you need help with growing your, uh, your game, let us know. We're here for you. Better, Felix? All good? <laughs> Amazing. So for you, for everybody, uh, I just had to redo the, the intro because I forgot about a few things. But anyway, uh, we are talking about today about another hybrid uh, casual game because hybrids are the hot shit uh, on the market at the moment. And what is not the hot shit on the market is the previous episode because nobody cares about Zenless Zone Zero because it's yeah. too niche. Man, you it's, know, yeah. I, yeah, I had so many thoughts about that after we did the episode because I was looking at the DAU. It's like their whole portfolio DAU is always four and a half million. So basically, Remo thinks is important. And I was just looking at it. I found it extremely predatory because the average purchase price on this, they must spend all their money on this game because it's they're like infatuated the and addicted. Games on the planet. It's not. It's the not. The cultural impact, the cultural impact that these games have are so minute compared you to like a Supercell than anything the else. The revenue they do on console Yeah, and it's PC. just revenue, man. It's like, yeah. Yeah, it's like the it's revenue, revenue. Just the please, revenue. Yeah, please continue, continue arguing. <laughs> It's it's just revenue, man. Like four and a half million people, it's it's a lot, sure. But in the context of gaming, it's it's minute. Like there's gaming companies that have hundred million. That's DAU. mobile only. Mobile only. Mobile only. My mic even fell from the from the table. Well, because I, I don't think that my mic cares well, as well. I think the numbers from our worst performing podcast episode since we started the podcast <laughs> speak for themselves. Uh, no one cares. No, no, no. It's it's not that bad actually. But uh, yeah, it's. Um, it's super niche. It's not good. <laughs> it's super, yeah, it's super niche. And that's why uh, we actually picked uh, one game that is growing like fucking wildfire. Uh, and it's been growing since it was in soft launch. Not, uh, well, it since it was global launch. Let's, let's call it that. Global launch. Yeah. Soft launch, it was last year. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, uh, we can it's talk been in about we can talk, a long time. Yeah, we can talk about that. Like, what's exactly soft launch and what, what was, in my opinion, market testing. But yeah, we can, we can definitely talk about it. And what is the game called? It's Block Jam 3D. And um, it's, it was developed by Voodoo. Well, it wasn't developed by Voodoo, it was published by Voodoo. It's Party Up uh, developer. Uh, but still, it's under Voodoo's account. So. Congrats, Voodoo. And um, but if I, I understand like, correctly, aren't yeah. there like internal Voodoo studio? Because I was seeing jobs positions in that studio on Voodoo site. So I don't know. Well, you should now. Uh, this is this is Google. also a question I've yeah. had about these these companies when they're building their templates, like Say Games, Voodoo. They're all working on templates, but is it how do they distribute that with external developers, and how do you share that stuff, or do you only use your internal teams to build on the templates? So you see, no with, with Sega, well, they like, distributed yes, the knowledge exactly. because three different yeah. studios use the same core gameplay template. But the question is, like, who's like directly on the Sega games? And I think there's where this kind of gray zone starts because yeah. this is the thing where currently hyper casual publishers are transitioning into hybrid casual kind of publishing developer houses, and it's I think pretty much jumping the barricade at some point where either people jump or whole studios jumbo we'll, we'll see that later but in the end they need to have product know-how stay with the company they can't just yeah. have like everything so, external 
Yeah, but Party Up Games, they have uh, nine games, over 100 million downloads. Recent games are Block Jam 3D, they're Golf Guys, Cooking Craft, and some other games like Uphill Run, whatever else. And it's just two guys. Uh, well, it's founding team like Brock Matter and Austin Schaff. And that's it, basically. So Back to I'm the glory sure. days, man. Huh? Yeah. yeah. But keep in mind, just development. Then, sh- no sh- analytics, sh- no UA, blah, 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 everything that Voodoo does there. Blah, blah, blah. Voodoo <clears throat> is hiring in Chicago for level designer for Party Up Studio. Yeah. So again, that's, that's what I was saying. Uh, yeah. They have, yeah, by the way, two or three game design economist position on the side. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. This, is, this is interesting. Party Up Studio is part of Voodoo's live gaming team made up of hybrid casual, casual mid core experts. See? Okay. Okay. That's cool. So that makes sense. Voodoo is creating a small experiment experimentation team with a big mission. Find the best ways to entertain the world by taking our best hits to a new level. Okay, interesting. Yeah, the, what I mean, Mate is reading currently, Voodoo released this kind of a ten year anniversary article. Yes, but, it's it's in there. Like that there's like this like entertaining the, the world. Kind but of, there yeah. was always their mission, in a way. Like yeah. it's pretty much uh, translates into like we're gonna have we, we want to have the lowest CPIs on the market, so we're gonna target everyone. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, okay. happy birthday, Voodoo! Ten years. Yeah. It's been a hell of a journey. Yeah. Yeah. Two and a half gamers vicious. You guys are very happy birthday. Very happy birthday. Yeah, like, and it's we actually already... getting better. I would say. Like last time we were looking at this company, I was uh, yeah. let's say a little yeah. bit more skeptic. But now I'm a little bit more positive <laughs> seeing the portfolio changes. Yeah, it's, it's, Voodoo it's will be here for the ride. Yeah. No, but the thing is, like they they said in their like ten years uh, blog post, which is kind of interesting take, very similar to what uh, Ilka did with Supercell in the last two years. This is very similar. Also, uh, the <laughs> call to action at the end is, "Hey, we are hiring." <laughs> so yeah, times are changing, and everybody is hiring like hell. Yeah, 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 obviously for hybrid casual uh, as well. But then I think um, they said kind of it's been a, an adventurous journey full of hard work, fun and mistakes, up and down, ups and downs, breakthroughs, failures and whatever else, which is interesting. But then they also, you know, different, their CEO mentioned this like interesting journey, obviously, and the thumbnail says says a lot. Also, like there's like the, the number, year 2013 versus 2023 kind of uh, two games, two different games, which is like first very basic hyper casual game. And then in 2023 uh, kind of a year is like a hybrid casual type of game. But there's like lots of like interesting headlines. (laughs) For example, 2013 to 2016, we're doing stupid stuff. (laughs) It's like, okay, (laughs) interesting. But anyway, I think for like the context of this podcast, it's very important that num- the year 2022 and 2023, which says like reborn and obviously like some some interesting facts, uh, the hard times, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, yeah, let me, is let, hard. let me do just TLDR. So the, end, yeah. the, the main point is 25% and of current revenue goes from that's hyper what I, casual. Yeah, that's what you I wanted to say. The IP curve going hockey stick Up. here. Which yeah. is the IP, oh, yeah. and if we go to download curve, it goes actually it's down. Going to, it goes down. Yeah. It goes yeah. down. <laughs> so here we are. That's the main point. TLDR. <laughs> no, no, no. Like because like TLDR, there's this like three years of strategic iterations, which is mob control, collect them all, which is, which are two games we actually talked about Covered. before. There's block jam, this blitz, v whatever else, and like which is called like a new generation of casual mid core games, shaping the voodoo's future. So that's like that's the hockey stick right there in terms of the in-apps. So now yeah. he said it's like they're stronger than ever, obviously. But yeah, the most important fa- part is that 20%, 25% is only like hyper casual and everything else is just, let's call it hybrid casual. And also they're forecasted to reach 600 million revenue this year. So that's not bad. It's not bad. Anyway, no. so... Uh, not bad is pretty great, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like it's it's yeah. pretty much like a rising phoenix. Let's be honest, because it was all you know doom and gloom with the hyper casual. And it is no, but like that's the thing. The portfolio. Yeah. It's but, like hyper casual is dead. Okay, well, hyper casual is dead. But then like, is is that like it no, kind dying. of evolved? It's, it's I'm dying, sure, basically. sure, sure, sure. But it's like that, like that was the foundation for hybrid casual. So like, fuck. Yeah. I don't care if it's dead or not. But it's like 
you are, you are at this point and then you're kind of moving to a hybrid casual and like earning fucking I, shit, I, shit I fuck so, money. to be honest. Like hybrid Why? casual was here already from like times of Archero. Nobody sure. cared about it yes, because nobody cared about it. Yes. in corona traffic. There was no name for it. Yeah, there was exactly. no name. Yeah. Yes. So it's not the but foundation. It was like the only it's just thing. like everybody is now screwed up and they need to move on otherwise there's yeah, no yeah no, yeah 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 sure no but tomorrow. it was like that's it yeah but if if they were not screwed then they wouldn't move to hybrid yeah, casual exactly. yeah, they wouldn't need to but do they it. they could move they could move with our chair yeah, already it, but nobody yes. cared yeah because it wasn't yeah exactly <laughs> you know how much easier it was to do the hyper casual than yeah. hybrid but anyway let's just start with blockchain yeah blockchain 3d wait a sec blockchain 3d, 3D. yeah yeah Jakub, what uh, what you got for us tell us yeah so blockchain 3D, uh, I would say one of the rather more interesting puzzle games that I played recently. It's very interesting, actually. And it's quite hard, it. honestly. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's if you very lose focus, hard. if you, if very, you yeah. lose focus, you, you don't you don't progress. It, ah, it's fuck. that that simple. If you yeah, don't yeah focus. exactly. You can't just tip. Um, okay, yeah, level 30. Yeah, so, okay. Um, yeah, let's Felix, go. what's your level? Yeah, for, what's your uh, level? 22. Ten, Mate? So, yeah, 19. I couldn't pass the hard <laughs> level. <laughs> 15, 19 were quite hard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let's, let's start with core gameplay. Um, so recently, I would say this is one of the new trends in the puzzle subgenre, where we have this kind of, a, let's call it sorting bar. Which Do you think it's like a bit like tile, like the tiles? No, 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 It's exa exactly the dynamic here, because keep in yeah. mind, like, the content and, and the boards change. So we have, like, the usual, whatever, Candy Crush, the Match 3, the Tie Buster games, they don't have mm. this. Now, now we move into these games ah, which we did with okay. Triple Tile and like all these other games, Triple Match 3D, where you have like let's say the sorting mess on top of the screen. Uh, Matthew muted if you're saying something, and then uh, you have this bottom bar where the bottom bar pretty much limits your possibilities of moves. So instead of like you know you having like to search for something in there you are actually matching stuff only on the bottom bar that's the very yeah. interesting limiting factor and what's changing is like the the input on top which is like either the mess or you have it like here for instance these kind of running now, blocks, now you can hear me is, yeah now we can hear you. okay perfect uh, it, it's it's kind of very interesting because here for instance if let's say you need to unstack or let's say make blocks ready available so if, let's say if i want to get to this block i need to get like here and only now i can use it but i can still like do any other block there's no gravity involved no cascades no you know no these other usual match tree or let's say puzzle mechanics so it's kind of unique but the sorting bar stays and keep in mind this is even from that other game we covered last year the chinese uh, sheep game where they also sheep had sheep? the sheep a sheep, yeah, the sorting bar, where it's it's pretty much like the sorting bar makes the dynamic interesting because it limits you on on like how much you can let's say delve into the mess on top. Honestly, yeah. honestly, I'm I'm missing only the the brain age type of thing on the top, <laughs> like where you so very so kind of progress through the levels. It's like oh well, your brain age is now. Yeah, yeah. Or because <laughs> recently even Candy Crush itself had a similar soft land. Yeah, yeah that's Candy what Crush I that's 3D, what I said when I was muted. Same, Candy Crush yeah, 3D. Same like this kind of bottom bar sorting mechanic. We, they they are hoping on the mess train, let's say, where the top Ooh. is like complete mess and you need to like put it on the sword bar. This is a little bit more structured that I that I think also which adds to readability and makes it more hyper casual. But in the end, it is this kind of a sorting puzzle where pretty much three of the same tokens match on the bottom. And then it depends on like very, very intense planning of your moves because suddenly you can't really, you know, just click on everything and then like... Yeah. You're <laughs> one wrong click. One wrong click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need literally one wrong click and yeah, then, yeah. then you, you're, you're fucked. Mm. I know, yeah. <laughs> So almost your, almost past the level 19 and I was like one click is like okay so yeah, I need yeah. to make a decision and I made the wrong decision on the, third, like, on the third level on the yeah. third part yeah on the third part yeah. of the last level <laughs> yeah but it's, so, that's that's why they make so much money because like uh, you you make this wrong decision and then you have these power ups or whatever is there are down yeah um, the usual kind of the usual or, thing yeah yeah you just don't want to lose the progress yeah, yeah, you don't want to lose the, the, the usual, you know, sunk and cost fallacy kicks yeah, in when yeah. you already invested. Yeah. Especially now with this kind of three segment level, 
where oh, yeah, every yeah. every level have these kind of three segments, which I guess even reinforces the cycle. Honestly, fallacy. those those yeah. levels are, are still like random. So if you like do redo the the levels, they're you get the new always seed. the different. Yeah, they're yeah. always different. Because new sorts. Uh, the shape is the same. The colors yeah. are different. That's okay. the interesting yeah. part. And yeah. I guess it's completely controlled because oh, every oh, time 100%, I lose, man, 100%, the, yeah. my my pass rate goes higher. Yeah, yeah, because. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh, Usually third or fourth time when you try the same level, it's easier. Yeah, of course. Like yeah. that's the usual, yeah. like you know, uh, how it's called DDA, dynamic difficulty adjustment. Yes. <laughs> nicely always yes. talked about. Which the, like this is the this is the most hardest things about match three or whatever any puzzle games because it's like seems so easy. So like yeah, yeah of course. Surface, it's like why why this would be hard to code or you know develop. Let's stuff. copy one to one. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so much stuff happening under the surface with these games. Like don't you know don't get disappointed yeah. that it's works yeah, completely yeah, that, different. That's why when you have a peak uh, games founders leaving the company and then suddenly building dream games or other games like spy games and then like building these match free games and it's like oh wow. Oh, this game's like it's it's the same game well it's not the same fucking game it's no, like it's you not. you have the experience so you can build you know very the, similar you know the numbers yeah. you know the yeah, systems exactly. under the yeah. surface the excel like, sheets say, and everything the calculations yeah like, like <laughs> let's say all these levels usually are a b tested to hell like yeah. for like for best churn index ratio or like new mechanics for instance like how the content treadmill works on puzzle games is that you add these new mechanics on and on and on forever pretty much so let's say we have this like exploding look, barrels we have these like whatever tunnels which hide the the things that we need which are really annoying yeah that was like, one of the like wrong decisions i made but also like the, the question is now like they are hyper casual studio well they were now, like you need to have designers with experience in match free, yes, to build this, is, this type of this games. Is That's the completely thing. normal, yeah. casual, yeah, match, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, puzzle, yeah. puzzle game. Like, yeah. and and it's all based on your retention curve, which is the reflection of the quality of your level design, which is exactly this mechanics, yeah. puzzle setup, and like how much you you know end up with these kind of. Boom! There's our pre-roll for this episode. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very well. So, very well. <laughs> so, so we're clearly seeing that Voodoo is really tapping into that casual to mid-core expertise now. This this is not something that like a normal external hyper-casual studio can yeah, create. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very you obvious. Be able to do it. And and also keep in mind this game was in soft launch for from April 2020. Yeah, April 15, 2022. So. And it's just being scaled from what, like September or somewhere well, look, there. Well, 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 August. We can, we can, we can look into. We the can numbers, talk about the your UA Yeah, part. we can. Yeah, we can yeah. talk about the numbers. I will show the graph and like then like kind of explain like what I mean by soft launch and what you mean by soft launch, maybe. But yeah. let me ask you a question for my yeah. part before we get on that, uh, and we'll talk about it in my part. But how many rewarded ads did you watch? Oh man, fuck me! None, mm. pretty much. Like I watched Barely all of those after. None. I, I watched all of those after the level because I wanted to see the visual progression. That, that's, yeah. that so so first, in the first, like, I think, 10 levels, I didn't watch anything. Then I started getting, like, all the interstitials, which is yeah. quite good because uh, I saw, like, t shit tons of, like, Fish Dome and Township creatives and also uh, playable ads, which they, they copied one-to-one -one for, like, Idle Bank Tycoon and, and My Perfect Hotel. Guys, Plerix. Again, very, very good job. <laughs> this is something that works apparently. But then like I watched every rewarded video after every level just to get like more, double the reward because I wanted to progress more uh, like quickly. Okay. But tell me like these like banner ads, like is it really like going to be a whole like um, big chunk of the revenues? I mean, like if, if it moves the needle? Yeah. A little spoiler alert for my for my part. Like interstitials probably are half or two thirds of the revenue on this title, and then the rest is between banners and uh, rewarded. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm, makes sense. Yeah. the The thing is that uh, for a, like voodoo game, yeah, you would expect more ad placements, but I think it's because if you if, even if we see the download curves on this game, it's yeah, not this as high more... actually. Yeah. It's like it resembles literally like a casual puzzle game. Yeah, I don't think like this is like fifty fifty split. Yeah. So no way. If I if I watch it here now. Uh, hello, hello, Golden oh, Goblins. That's, that's new. Like you No, it's not stuff. man, it's not new. 
Okay. I already I seen it multiple been, times. I haven't been in the news like Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the UA, UA world. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen it a million times before. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, any, anything else that like they have there? Because if I understand correctly, their loose condition isn't uh, slab. Let's, let's get into let's, let's let's get into my part, and then uh, I can talk about it. Then. Yeah, let, let me finish the All these spoilers. It it, 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 it will need to be a little bit more, uh, let's say, explanatory, because the thing is that. Uh, I, I'm seeing like the first signs of some like transition of templates. Let's yeah. say. That's what I wanted to ask you about because I really felt really similar to mob control some aspects. Yeah, yeah. So let me let me put that on screen so we have it uh, now. Okay. As usual, because we can see two games at once. Which is amazing. Here we go. So um, yeah, we finish the, the very board of that. We get this, like, whatever, build currency. It's, by the way, even the same color as in mob control. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then if we continue between every level, we have this visual progression, which is exactly taken from mob control, literally one yeah. to one. There's, like, no no kind of difference to it. Again, why uh, and it seems it works the wheel? Well. Yeah, why reinvent the wheel and, you know, it, it's, like... It's, I, I think it's like with the template. It, it's pretty much like some team did well, so the guys that would do told the other team, "Hey guys, maybe you should implement this and see." Yeah, but like, what does the this even like do in the game? Like, you're building this island. Like, so what? I mean, I, why I is know, why is it, it there? Like, it's like the, zero. Like, it the looks good. It value. feels good when you press it. But I don't really know what it does. The the thing is that building something or like just having a clear path from point A to point B mm. is very rewarding because it's structured. If you just go between level and level and level and level endlessly and there's nothing in between, you get bored. That's just mm. kind of normal thing. And this is probably something that drives their long-term retention. But in the end, the real kind of a kicker here is this. These oh, quick man. time streak yeah. events. Yeah, yeah, the events. Like this is this <clears throat> seems like uh, like um, st steroid version from the Monopoly Go because they also have this kind of quick yeah. time steroid events. version. Like on steroids, yeah. I mean, because literally all of these puts you in like a small player ladder of like, hey, you yeah. have limited time to compete with these yeah. other guys. Literally yesterday, I got this event which was like yeah. moving a bomb. On, a, on like a bridge and who who kind of gets exploded. Yeah, you, you, you have to complete the levels to progress in these events. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the thing is, it uh, really focuses on streaks. So yeah, if you, if lose, if your you streak, lose, you're fucked. Yeah. yeah, and you don't want to lose your streak, which is there, by the way, if you look into the purchases, hard level purchase is their third best IAP. Yeah. Instead of packs. Do you, have a, do you have a list of the top performing IAPs? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will, I will, yeah. Just, oh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on yeah, and I will. He's trying to be I'll, I'll UA manager, yeah. admin manager. No, 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 no this is good. No, this is good. Um, so we have, well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, here we are. Small yes. coins, medium coins, hard level offer, 499. Yes. And yeah. then large coins, and then piggy bank, and only then no ads bundle. See? Yeah, because yeah. the ads are not that annoying. Exactly. Yeah, They're really yeah. not annoying. And, man, oh, yo, yo, yo. So... There was this, uh, so it's it's actually a very good friend of the podcast, uh, uh, Frederick, from Froyo Apps uh, with Pickle Pete, and they actually changed the the messaging around the no ads option, which they rebranded to the VIP experience because honestly, like it didn't really have anything in in common with like uh, with no ads because you come with, like you just kind of select to watch the rewarded videos right so then they rebranded to vip experience like the the increase in terms of the like purchases was like 1000 percent like from yeah. day one it's like that's that's how you kind of like rebrand that no ads experience because like if it's no ads like nobody cares honestly yeah so, so kudos to the team by the way looking at the game it's ultra light literally ultra light it still kind of retains a little bit of that hyper casual feeling like compared to mod control mob controls like yeah. a mid core beast compared to it uh <laughs> the shop is very light there's literally nothing in it not even free rewards the yeah. game is super stingy by the way very stingy yes. <laughs> like you don't get anything for free that much yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, one rewarded ad placement yeah one nothing yeah. nothing yeah. even yeah. this not even the wheel of fortune yeah, is the, like, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Levels, 16 like, yeah. levels yeah. two weeks <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's like, 
But no, 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 like that scales. Wait, wait, wait a second. That like the the number uh, in the wheel of fortune that scales when yes, you progress. Yes, and, and you know what you get from this? Like five coins. I know, actually, yeah, five gold it. coins. That's it. That's what you get. <laughs> Almost nothing. You I, know, this, I know. I uh, know. But it's amazing. Waiting here. Yeah, yeah. I, I would, by the way, break this and not just like leave it six hundred fifty and just scale yeah, yeah. it with your level progress. So it would like add on top and top and top and top. So that, that's there. And then you have these events which are pretty much popping all the time. Like literally yeah. every third, fourth level when you're moving forward. Oh, hey, by the way, why don't you compete with these other guys yeah, in three yeah. hours? Which are yeah, can you show the bus one? Show the bus one because it's quite interesting. Oh man, yeah, like, that's the thing. Interesting. And we have a we have a like backstory to the bus. So if you if you can share, then oh, that was a reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah there is. A you to need that. to. You because can I replay. can go back back in time and play yeah, the previous levels. Go back in time, please. <laughs> Go, Go back in time. Go back in time, please. <laughs> by, by in the, the meantime, way, how, yeah. how we how uh, as we look and just wanted to show this. So the IP revenue is literally a hockey stick currently doing yeah. something like eighty five k a day. I mean, it's not hockey stick, it, but it's quite yeah, yeah. quite, it's nice. quite it's steady nice. growth. It's yeah. a nice ski slope. If you look at downloads, you could see that there's something changing there. It's not yeah. really like we're scaling the game. We know like it will like, perform. It's like experience. And, I... and the biggest one, oh, let me just finish. Yeah, this yeah, one, yeah. Is like last year when it was released, this was the game. Yeah. This is the game. There's no progression. No, like even like this is the main menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like nothing there. And only seven months later, there we go. are somewhere that yeah, like it's, it's, starts it's to re changed yeah re resemble oh sorry no this is this is still like the old one no, no 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 like you have the levels like you had like if you go to previous yeah you have the level and then ah, like yeah, two, no. two so so it's already before there, yeah. they had no even no power ups like just pure yeah, no power ups. Probably just probably just testing their day one retention then they added the power ups and like make it a little bit more you know they're segmented and stuff like that the levels are between like different segments and only afterwards which is like seven months old youtube video they have the visual progression there. and now you tell me the the dates of these videos because it exactly exactly matches the the ua waves the ua bumps yeah. yes it's like it's it's right there yeah. And it's exactly yeah. what, what I wanted to talk about, like around it's like market testing, soft launch, global launch, and then there is a scaling phase, basically, which is like, I mean, not sure if this is the but, scaling but, but phase, is, but there are these waves of. of but of literally, like this is this is, um, I would say, like development during soft launch, literally. Yeah. Like they 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 don't do yes. the game in a way that like oh we're gonna build this puzzle game. No. They just no, like, no, no, of we course, get yeah, this no. nice puzzle mechanic. The retention yeah. seems okay. So what we can duct tape on top of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that that's was the, the market waiver. testing. There was there was the market testing for sure. Like there's this spike. If you go back to, to Sensor Tower, and by the way, mm -hmm. thank you, Sensor Tower, for, for this. Uh, if you go to the downloads, and then there's the, the spike uh, at the very beginning of, of all of this. Yeah, there you go. So on the left, September left hand and side. August, August, August. No, 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 Com completely left. This one. Ah, left. this one. Exactly. So they, they released the game. There was like US only. Then they added like a few other countries. I'm going to talk about like which of, which of these. And then th this is the spike. So they tested something and then shut down the UA. And then they really, they resumed the, the game. The, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And re resumed the UA around like, like that. Yeah. That time somewhere. That's the soft launch basically. And now the global launch is around like I think in March. And then, like, since then, it's a global launch, but now they're, like, this scaling phase. And obviously, like, all of these, like, spikes, I mean, this is, this is actually, like, very interesting because they have these spikes of, of UA and, like, the new spend and, like, kind of trying to scale, but <laughs> the revenue is just going up <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, because, because those, are, those are casual puzzle users. You that's know, they have, yeah. like... They yeah, it take... 180 ROAS and that's they just the play yeah, that's the forever thing. and pay and slow. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. So this then resembles a casual puzzle game. Yeah. Yeah, but then yeah. like the, all those spikes in UA, like that's the new version that kind of helps you kind of scale because like, oh, well, they released a new a new version with different uh, features. It's like these like progressions kind of they saw like the impact on the UA KPIs, then they scaled, scaled yeah. down again, then some added something new, then scaled again, and now they they added this. And we have a little backstory to to this one. So, so there is the so there is the the bus gem from Rolic, and there is a block gem from Voodoo. So 
the bus gem from Rolik uh, apparently had a quite a good play time values. So um, Rolik tried to find uh, like some games with the bus theme and then like this, like this bus gem, which is exactly this kind of um, bus theme or bus mechanic bus that you are seeing. Yeah, bus yeah, bus sorting, sorting yeah. kind of. This is like another game, actually. So they added this another like game, game onto into... Game into their game again going back to this like what we are talking about for a year like building games within games they added this like a a daily event and now they are using it in the creatives because it works so well it's and it amazing the fake and it reduces yeah yeah exactly because it's not fake and it's like it's so, it's so close look so it's everything yeah. but you are just Sorting buses. A little bit of just, twist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a twist. And it works really well in UA, so they build it in the game. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how you they know, build it in the game. Wait, it's a calendar. Is, Man, it's like, the, it's fucking amazing. But this is like a normal mid-core or casual mechanic where you have the same core gameplay in different contexts. Like, let's say, AFK Arena. It has like four or five modes built into it. There's like level mode, PvP mode, roguelite mode, whatever. It's exactly the same thing. So... Welcome to the Big Boys Club of Midcore and Casual. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this, but this is this is great. Honestly, like this is really good. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's amazing that like the studio is moving. I would say miles ahead currently in, in like last yeah. few months. And one last thing I want to show you. I was just casually strolling through their portfolio account uh, because they have like lots of new stuff coming up. But just two games kind of struck me here. There's like Monster Survivors. Oi, oi, oi. Notice the image here. Oh, that's like fun. Taking on happy wait, wait. at their own game, huh? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then survivor, there's yeah. Final Survivor. Oh, Final Survivor. <laughs> Eesh. This is the same thing. Yeah. So, but see, like it's ah. very, very hybridish. Yeah. <laughs> so I can already see that we will be looking here uh, again <laughs> yeah. soon because yeah, based it's, on it's... like if, if literally Voodoo switches their whole grinder machine, of course they, they hybrids. Switch. The yeah, they, I mean, like they, they, they have they figure to. out the pipeline if they figure out the processes and everything. Because also the other thing that I saw there, they were literally like not gonna show, show, show it, but like just like stroll through it. Like there's a beach volleyball game, very very yeah. kind of look mid coreish one. There's a racing game. There's uh whatever like these other pretty much experiences that we see normally with midcore and casual games and and they just slap it there probably just see the retention doesn't care about the progression at all if it works then they allocate you know the resources and yeah. build it up like the blockchain 3d game like yeah copy the progression put this progression put that progression whatever prolong the 30 increase iap put in some kind of stable economy that so on so on so forth so i think they are using like a very different approach compared to things that we saw with Hobby, with Say Games, with all these other people, because they are building like from the other part. Because those those studios start with the template and they like know what they're doing and what they're gonna end up with. These guys are starting from nothing, and only afterwards they start to you know throw some stuff on top of it because they already know the day one retention or like the retention curve works. Yeah. Cool. Let's do Admon because it makes sense. A good transition, I think, and then we'll do UA last. Um, Mati is m- muted again, so we can't even do yeah, this okay, UA yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. We can. Rima, can you, can <laughs> you share screen again? Because I'll, I'll yeah, need sure, you to sure. showcase something. Because for ad monetization, like, you know how we've been complaining on this podcast about like CMP rollout and like the bullshit yeah. in the EU. Uh, but I did miss one big fact, and that is when you set up your CMP correctly. If you start a level, please. Uh, Basically, it makes my analysis life so much easier uh, because if you go to settings and then privacy, you see the full list of all the ad networks that they're working with. (laughs) Of course, there's no guarantee that they're listed, but basically they have to list them. So Blockchain 3D has the following networks listed in the CMP list, Vungle, Unity, Ad Colony, uh, Amazon Publisher Service, as uh, TikTok, Bid Machine, Chart Boost, Meta, Fiber, Imobi, Google, uh, Iron Source, Line, Mintegral, Ogre, Odeo, and Tempo platform. Mm, so that's a really nice thing. I can be Felix now. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So the interesting thing is here, right? Um, so I checked on all the links for the privacy settings just to see Perfect. if they're all working. 
all of them are working except Tempo Platform, which, you know, that link is broken to their privacy page. So in terms of the eyes of regulators, naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I go ahead and fix that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's a nice uh, touch. Yeah, okay. it I, also wait, shows wait. the Voodoo team is Amazon. planning on integrating audio ads because they have audio in there, uh, audio in there, which is quite interesting. Uh, I personally never seen it generate more than ten percent of a game's revenue, well, but 10% you know, if they keep okay. scaling this game, ten percent will come quite in handy, right? I would say ten percent is still generous. <laughs> so, yeah, bonus for my two co-hosts. I have a bonus question for you both. The list I listed just now from the networks. What is odd about that list? Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's go down and Google in Mobi. Iron mm -hmm. Source, mm -hmm. Lime, mm -hmm. Integral, Tempo Flow. What should we be looking for? There's no app lemon. No app lemon. Yeah, biggest network, true, yeah. yeah. Biggest video network yeah. on uh, on the planet right now, and they. I, I know and this they... game is super light on rewarded placements. Ben, but they are but scaling on app lemon like fucking largest... crazy. Huh? So they're they're scaling. But it's not listed there, so yeah. like m leads me to deduce that they're probably using level play for mediation. That's very uh, true. But in that or they case, to add it wait, into the list. wait, 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 or maybe you have to yeah. keep it there. You have to have it in there if you're gonna work with that studio uh, with that network, right? Well, so. you have to because uh, somebody says no, 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 boo, boo, boo. If you don't have it there, yeah. Well, the the European regulators, you know, they they they've already sued Voodoo once. I don't think you know they're going to be keen well, on breaking you know, if these they, rules again. Yeah, but they get sued once, so now they're at least six months okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it works. <laughs> like a like the star in uh, Mario Kart, like yes. you're immune for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're immune for a while. <laughs> you can't get sued like twice in six months. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like I, I can't think of a reason not to have Applevin in yeah, here. That's true. Maybe they have them, but they just haven't put it in the CMP. It doesn't anyway. make any sense. Oh, well, it makes it makes sense now because in that case they're not very heavy on ads, so they're not not using the blended ROAS, but they're using in-app purchase yeah. kind of ROAS campaigns. Because they are they are working with Adjust. You can see that listed. So Adjust yeah. is their MMP. So yeah, yeah, that could also be why they're scaling on Applevin. So no, no, uh, no. Like wait, 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 wait. That, that's not like not very much related. You have okay. adjust does yeah doesn't do shit to uploading if you have it. No. No. Okay. Okay. So to the actual ad placement. So Block Jams uh, 3D has similar ad monetization strategy to some like tile games we covered in the podcast in the previously. So meaning it's super heavy on interstitial ads and not heavy on rewarded ads at all. Uh, the game pretty much shows an interstitial ad whenever it can. Uh, when you lose a game, <laughs> it shows you an interstitial ad. Life. Like when you beat a level, it shows you an interstitial ad. Whatever mood you have as a player, there is an interstitial ad for you. Uh, I think it's like the, the most interesting part, I think, is that even after you beat a level, you get interstitial ad, and then you can see the rewarded ad placements. So it's <laughs> You can escape it, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's like yeah. interstitials is the way to go here. So they're showing at such a diligent rate. So I think they're close to at least nine or eight impressions on average with an ad view array of 70%. So that means that interstitial ads must be making at least two thirds of the entire ad revenue. Banners are shown, not too much to say about that. 10 second refresh timer, uh, meaning yeah, my that the, hotel. the session length is, yeah, so session length, if it's between 17 to 22 minutes, you'll show about 80 impressions uh, to users per day. So then we have left the rewarded ads. Um, I think it's being a bit underutilized, but they're making so much IAP. So maybe it's not like, maybe this is the way to go. Uh, need to the keep only in mind rewarded that now they are caring much more about the retention, especially yeah, yeah. with like exactly. public players. So it's like yeah. a trade off. Yeah, trade off. So the the only rewarded ad like placement I think that matters is that after you beat a level, the two x is it coins or is it the little men? I don't it's know what two, they're called. Two x of everything basically. Both. So you have yeah, trophies, both. coins, and yeah. then uh, this. Characters, yeah. <laughs> visual, visual for nothing currency. Yeah, yeah. the funny thing yeah. is, like, it it, it they, says two x, the... but it, this didn't yeah. really like to recalculate the whole sum. It's just like two yeah. x, and then you find like, what? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, they, they they've even gone so far. They've abandoned some of the classic rewarded ad placements. There's no rewarded ad placements when you run out of lives. Like, whoa! Like, yeah. imagine Voodoo uh, two years realizing that and talking about that. Like. like that's big, like what? See, hard level yeah. offer. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
even the thing uh, that strikes me here, like could be low hanging fruit, is that Wheel of Fortune on the main menu that you could get a spin of that for a reward or not. Like that's still for me, it's the most stingy, like one of the most stingy mechanics they have in terms of like, yeah, what they give out when you actually reach it. But yeah, no rewarded out there. But anyway, I don't think rewarded impressions for DAUs is two, two and a half maximum, if that even. So it's mm. quite small. Uh, but yeah, it's cool to see them focusing on retention mechanics instead. So if we look at the latest DAU data from Sensor Tower from the last month uh, in the US on iOS is about 60,000 DAO, Android about 40,000 DAO, and iOS uh, worldwide is 115,000, and Android worldwide is about 113,000. So uh, in the last four weeks, uh, they've earned on average about 28K. And yes, I did take into account Black Friday weekend <laughs> in the ECPM uh, calculation. So they've earned about 854 grand in the last 30 days. And in the same 30 days, according to Sensor Tower, Blockjam has earned 2.3 million in IAPs. So 37% of revenues coming from ads, which from a Voodoo yeah. game a year ago would shock yeah. me very much. No, I would I would exactly say like 30% ads, 70% IAPs. I would, yeah, yeah, I would say that. What the fuck is this? Pro yeah. This is an yeah. ad. Not an ad, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah. okay, so 30%, 37 Yeah, but see like plus, plus five coins where yeah, it's like what? 100 to yeah. like use a power-up yeah. yeah, in your yeah, yeah. level. That yeah, yeah, that's know. true. But like, honestly, like, yeah, they have also this uh, network list of the Tempo platform that didn't have the privacy link. That's some kind of like e-commerce shopping linking network. Well, well so you have Amazon there. Anyway. You have Amazon there. Yeah. So Amazon is there. Yeah. Anyway, so 37% okay. ad revenue. Well, you, yeah. it's like they, it looks like they made like 9 million in, uh, in Sensor Tower, like lifetime. That yeah. means... Well, like 30% out of that. Add like, another 37% on that? Yeah. So it can be like 13, 14 in total. 13 maybe. But by the, the thing way, is, guys, ha have yeah. you checked this? Just like one very interesting tidbit. If you go here, you can see like the ranking of top players. Have you seen? Yeah, they have that. like it's insane. 123k for fake. the first player. This like, is this fake. Is, I, I don't seems to me it's fake because like I of don't course it's it. fake if you're, you're like, like if you play this game you just change the fucking nickname but still like 26 what is 100, 103 123,000 levels let's assume it takes three minutes to beat every level like, like how many minutes Candy is that Candy Crush is currently totaling something like 15k plus exactly yeah, that's no why way it's have, fake yeah, yeah. But it's amazing because yeah, if, like if you're called Daisy Zero Four, please reach out. Please, yeah, Daisy yeah, Zero Four. Please, yeah. I'm reaching out to Gaiton from uh, from Voodoo. I'm just gonna be like, mate, is this real? There's no way. 123. But you know levels. who who is Daisy uh, Zero Four? It's the the same person that was attacking uh, Jakub in Monopoly Go all the fucking time. <laughs> Man, I, let's go over the UA. I want to see the hooks because this game must have some crazy good no. hooks. No, 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 no. It will be, it will be quite uh, disappointing. It's not about the hooks in in like in hybrid casual. You, you, you could always. I mean, you should always. Everything is about yeah. a hook. No, 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 no. So, All right. So we have this hockey stick you already talked about, which is uh, the revenues, and we could see the game made. 9 million net revenue, which obviously is something around, well, like let's, let's call it 12, I think in like, based on like sadness multiplier, <laughs> I would, I would still think like, look, I mean, even though like we have uh sensor tower data, but we know like how it, it really works, uh, in yeah, reality. It's, estimates. So it's not real revenue. It's, it's, yeah, it's still estimate. So I think like this, and it's like still very conservative uh, assumption so it's nine let's add, add, yeah you know let's call, let's call it 12 yeah and like, then add on another four and a half yeah exactly ads. yeah yeah so yeah. it's what 16 17 yeah. it's not bad <laughs> it's not bad at all and it's like it's growing like hell like in like since basically the global launch over here which i think it's it's right there yeah so so I think uh, the global launch it around like this kind of day because they started getting revenues from like different countries. And obviously like here, it's even like more uh, evident like US, Japan, and even like the Japan 
country here is quite interesting because they were running Japan even before because I saw Japanese creatives, but I will get there. So if we go to downloads, and this is what I wanted to talk about. So, I mean, it's June, uh, I think like April, you said, and then, so this is what I call a market testing. So they they had this like interesting uh, mechanic. They test they put it out there. It's US only. They tested something. Now they like pushed the UA a little bit more and then uh, scaled down again. And now in July they uh, they scaled again in like different countries just to get more data. And this is what I would call like the market testing and like trying to understand if this kind of let's say block core gameplay sword, works. Yeah, core gameplay works. Then look, it's scaled that they scaled down to like to like thirty three downloads per. So it's basically nothing. I think they shut down the UA. It was just you know there. what they did. You know what they did. They started when we released our first two and a half gamers podcast. There you go. Easy. Thank you very much. <laughs> problem uh, solved. Yeah. yeah, problem solved. Have a good day. Bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Here in the May. Or like somewhere here after we discussed yeah. all the hybrids, like they started scaling because that's, you know, that's what uh, what happens. Anyway, so then like they started this like, uh, I think soft launch around this like November keep, maybe. Keep in mind that both yeah, like look. mob control started kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's all connected. And also like when we talked about like the Say Games and like My Perfect Hotel, then... Everything else, it's just, it's all connected. So one game scales, they get all the learnings, then they scale down that game, and then they see better numbers in the different games, they, they start scaling that game. It's just all connected. And, and, and this is also like, you know, like you have different games, different game teams maybe, and then suddenly here you start scaling like, again it's, after it's global much launch. More, much more transferable because the games are yeah. so heavy. Like I know like Voodoo Run, this kind of Voodoo Academy it was called. I don't know if it's still running, but they were pretty much like teaching uh, external um, yes. hypercasual developers the like the know-how of everything, of literally yeah. everything. And we there were some everything general... and so we can sk- we can squeeze it the most out of you. <laughs> that's, yeah, the, the that's, thing not, is that that's not academic. Some general rules apply, but it was still lottery and it was yeah. all yeah, about yeah, yeah, volume. Yeah. As much, much developers yeah, yeah. as possible, as much shot on goal and like pretty much tickets in the lottery. Now it's different. Now it's like, so that's the you thing. know, if you have a promising core gameplay, how can you trans- translate it into hybrid? But also like, I think here, like we discussed in the previous episodes, it's more about like long term, it's like, it's not soft launch versus global launch and like scaling immediately. Yeah, it's development during soft it's dev- launch. Literally. Exactly. So you just, you know, like they pushed the game here and like, let's call it like a soft launch. And now I see this like March 2023 and onwards and they started like opening it up to like more countries. Then there's like definitely new, uh, new build. And now they scaled a little bit more again in, in, in May and then they scaled down. They worked on the game and then they suddenly saw like quite in- interesting KPIs and then scaled again. So all these like, let's work on the game for three days. Let's test it out and then kill it immediately. Doesn't apply anymore. Right? <laughs> that's that's no. not how it works. So, but you know, like, if you still think about like all these like smaller teams which were hyper casual back then, they're still kind of small. And now like what should you do? Should you just work on the game for like six months like here when you are a small team and you don't have like enough money? Well they're probably getting funded by Voodoo, that's my guess. Could be, or they're getting funded by someone else because they see the potential. Because oh well, you know, like we scaled, oh, well, yeah. we had five games scaled by Voodoo, few hundreds millions of downloads. So we know what we do. Now we are moving to uh, even to high rates, know, but like, we don't have the money. <laughs> yeah, even if you don't have like uh, casual midcore product know-how, you still have a head start because you are like yeah. a successful hyper casual studio. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah, know yeah. how to create fun core gameplay, which is not that easy, by the way. Like core gameplay iteration and production is like a skill that literally you are missing in a lot of studios yeah, completely. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a completely different team compared to like the live ops team or the usual kind of a you know heavy money team. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, and now we're looking at uh, let's say this May twenty twenty two to November twenty twenty two, which was kind of like this let's say 
market testing slash beginning of kind of soft launch and what kind of creatives they had look so if you if you check it out then there you go like different characters jesus oh the men have bodies there they yeah actually, yeah that's the thing yeah. right so it's, three, it's different three, yeah things yeah. and he turned that down yes I yeah Mati killing us with creative sound again yeah obviously and that's again and different that blocks exactly it's yeah. blocks because well block jam right and this uh, also like if you if you're in pink color you're reg legally skilled so all the like hyper casual kind of tactics in the creatives mm. yeah and then only three percent i'm just yeah, waiting only four percent <laughs> now this like ooh. Well, no, random AI generated voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they know, yeah, yeah, but it's the same thing. But then, like, that's it. Oh, well, not. Oh, there's the hand. There's the yeah. It's also emojis, and uh, can you oh, see? Can you see? Yeah, that, oh, okay. Shh, 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 shh. I know. It turned down already, but can you see the like the Japanese yeah. hands here? That's yeah. the thing. Emojis, and then uh, where where was the hand? Yeah, here is the hand iteration so it's like all of all of the like tricks in terms of the the ua but they were trying oh what well, is actually is there something fake or something like different but like why, why would you need anything fake in like in this? i mean the password game well i will yeah i will show it look at that it's like the only like the creatives there they have now it's just like that's that's it basically. Yeah, but they need to stay the same it's hyper casual formula for low cpi like it yeah. needs to be yeah exactly like, yeah, but in terms of like this, like this is all all they got, like pretty pretty much. But in that in this period, it was only about Iron Source, Apple in Unity, oh uh, maybe a little bit of like a uh, Google. That's it, right? So no. that's the like interesting part. Then we have kind of uh, read on the retention, which is again, uh, Mika called it what like happiness multiplier, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> so this is a little bit. Maybe a little bit different in in reality, but like this, it looks like they have like day one forty seven, but then day sixty forty percent, and if you look at day ninety, it's three percent, which is actually not bad, I think. But and that's iOS, but I guess like this maybe the day one is yeah, but it's not you know not your next next royal match. That's, the that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. But it's not. Your but the tactic is your different. Royal like match. royal match wants to have one, two royal matches in portfolio. These guys wants to have twenty block gems that are all yes. like yeah, two yeah, mil yeah, yeah. per month. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much. Uh, that's true. But then this is like the real kind of deal. What they do now? Can you see? Yeah, he's up loving all of them. It's up loving all of them. It's up loving all of them. Exactly. It's, you weren't lying. Man, it's everything is up loving. Does it make even less sense why they don't have up loving as a network? Because, you know, like exactly. users are tagged on the admin yeah. side. So you get a higher ACPM because if you're doing UA with a network, it's just. It's it's crazy. But like, it, it's like all up loving in last, like, what is this? Like last three months, basically. And I will show you like last 30 days and it's still up loving. It's just different creative, which is now like popping. But this is uh one sec, maybe we'll lose you. Oh Jesus Christ. Again, the you know, video. do you see? The bus, ah, here, bus, the bus. The bus yeah. theme is just everywhere. It's this... not fake, but it's not real either. It's somewhere in between. Well, what do you mean it's not real? It's mm, it's exactly it's real. Cl clever use of product UA. Yeah. But this is but this is the thing. Like they, they used this because they found out that the game with the bus theme has really good like play time. Uh, metrics somehow yeah. they didn't find me. out that it seemed like all the games with bus sorting team and all the hyper casual I know, I know, companies I know. portfolios yeah but the thing is whoa what to do <laughs> sorry no, this is literally the game they have yeah so the thing is they saw it, it works really well so they used it in creatives again they have you have these these characters you muted have... seriously <laughs> oh you mean you the, yeah, the okay. <laughs> we're back there at step one. Like yeah. we need to have a product UA funnel, literally. Of yeah. course, of course. But the thing is, uh, it works well, and they implement it in the game again and again and again and again. And we talk about it like ah, that's something interesting. Oh, it'll be the same. Fuck. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But but this your sensor yeah. tower, please mute. Yeah, this is creatives yeah, yeah, on please, like yeah, yeah, some yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. Uh, unfortunately. But, but this is anyway. this is really interesting that now even hyper casual, which That's is the, the king yeah. of low CPIs, exactly. needs to use this trick. Because literally. the thing is, because this is not a hyper casual anymore. Yes, it's a hybrid no. casual or casual puzzle or whatever. You need to decrease the CPIs. 
and you need yeah, to do it. Yeah, but the whole point of hybrid least... casual is to pretend to be hyper casual yeah, and have low I know, CPI I know. to begin with. Pretend. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But the thing is, like, you have low CPIs, but if this can get you even lower CPIs, why wouldn't you do it? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. of course, you would do it immediately. And the thing is, yeah, exactly. I, you kind of like implement it exactly uh, right away into the game. Yeah. And how we do product it? Product DOA, Easy. literally. Yeah. Product yeah. DOA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Oof. I lost. So we, they have also, obviously, the... Playables. Playables. What? Oh, okay. Now I see. It's, oh my, it's, it's annoying. But anyway, of course, they have playables because uh, they're super heavy on... On Apple Avin, and I can't go. Oh, okay, it, it just stuck. Well, you guys, that's everything else. And then we well, have well, some one. other like roller coaster. Yeah, well, cover your ears. Uh, just different graphic. <laughs> yeah. Or roller coaster. Different graphic, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, See, yeah, this yeah. is a nice. Find, find the this yellow This is the one. future. Probably next after buses is going to be a roller coaster. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, I can't tap anywhere. Station. I mean, I, I can't tap anywhere. That's like, it's, it's really annoying. Good, you, then you're just going to ruin it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Don't, don't click on it anymore. Second. Yeah, there's a play blade as well. Don't worry, it's not going to Yeah, be, I'm waiting like, for a train so... now instead of roller no. coaster. Yeah, and then, look, oops, oops, oops. And that, that, there you go. That's it. I mean, it's, it's quite straightforward, right? So, yeah. But it's good. Okay, but then if there are like different shapes and all of these like play blades, which is like amazing because you see how many playables they have one, two, three, four, five, four, six. four and I think even more. So, mm -hmm. like, that's exactly what you want to have on Apple Avin. And like, then, like, if you scale, if you're scaling outside of, of Facebook and all of the all of the fun stuff, well, obviously, there's like, look, Apple Avin, last 30 days, Apple Avin, Google. Iron source and again a plugin. Then that's basically oh well we have here cover your ears. This is something that's scaling quite 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 heavily in the last uh, in the last few few weeks. So but like all in all, if you have these like hybrid casual games and this is just like you can't think you can't have like so many different creative concepts. You can have like different playable ads because you can scale it on ad networks quite heavily. And this is what yeah. what, hap what happens here, like different, like yeah, roller coasters or whatever else. But you know, no, nothing's still... stopping you from copying the other exactly. cool trend yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. and putting it into your live event and like changing the creatives accordingly. That's, yeah, that's true. And that's like, that's how you still are going to win in like, like next year and the, yeah, the year after. relevant with the UA. Exactly. It's like, like there's like, you can't, and this is again, look, it's again, hyper casual game and mechanic, yeah. which is super easy. And this is something that mm -hmm. like, it's, it's trending quite heavily. So yeah. literally using like different hyper casual mechanics in your hybrid casual game, and you kind of like win afterwards. Anyway, but if, if we want to see like weird shit, which I usually try to get, uh, you know, where? Facebook and Instagram, obviously, but that's uh, it's almost all the same. It's very, mm. it's, it's very the old, old yeah. build. Yes, yeah. old build exactly. again. Exactly, it's old build. You know why they use this old build? Because I'm pretty sure, like they used this uh, these creatives like gajillion like years ago, yeah. and it still has like quite creators. a good yeah, yeah quite a good history, and that's it. Plus, yeah. it's older audience on Facebook, so <laughs> you use all creatives. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like and again, bus bus Trust team. Me, bro. Look it up. Yeah, yeah. And bus team. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. This is interesting. Bingo. 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 <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> See the older audience is getting there. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. All the audience. There you go. Because like that's that's, that's how it works. I mean, I was saying it to sound like a joke, but it's pretty much <laughs> yeah, true. It's very true. It's very true. <laughs> <laughs> it's failed bingo and and then some other shit. So yeah, like yeah, this is how it works. Matching colors and all of okay. all of this. Match 3D look. Oh really? Gotcha. And, yeah, and then <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> this is amazing. Can you match free? Of course, I can match free. But anyway, this is oh, also wow, look. That, yeah. Do you do re oh, recognize? Oh, that's taking from um. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Tell me. It's exactly it's their own their own game. Co yeah. Collect them all, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, all in yeah, all, uh, yeah. I think I can stop sharing now. Uh, 
It's is just, the general consensus yeah. from this episode that we are all three impressed? We are, yeah. Um, I think we are. Yeah. Well, to a certain extent. Uh, to be to honest, like, extent. I, I'm not like super impressed. Of course, I'm you're, rather, never, like, you're, you're never impressed. I mean, you're not even... I would say I'm positively surprised. Oh yeah, you it, are. Yeah, it didn't are. take them that long to jump on this yeah. hybrid casual train. That that's what I'm. Yeah. Well, look, like it's not like the same level of let's say hobby or whatever. Like you know, like the the template that you can literally dish out stuff because it's. I think it's more accidental currently rather than like just discovering what works. Well, it's like experimental. Still, right, so let's phase. call it experimental. Yeah, yeah. They're still in their experimental phase compared to like hobby, where let's say say games. I think is kind of leaving slowly the experimental phase and already yeah. jumping on like like ben. mass producing what works we we released a, a voodoo episode on june 26 they yeah. are scaling like fucking hell since yeah. then they pretty much transferred the company since half a year. Then. so like kudos yeah. to since that. then since then Pivot. because of our episode <laughs> <laughs> no, no, of course not. No, no, they, they're guys. growing. Yeah, no, no, they're growing like they were growing like crazy even before. I don't think they give a shit about us. Of course, right. of course they don't. But then, like, look. So they were making twenty k a day. Now they're making eighty k, eighty eighty five k a day. Yeah. A few months after the episode, so yeah, I mean, like, there's definitely a correlation. <laughs> Man, all this like doom and gloom stuff, like hyper yeah, casual like is dead, is dead, like yeah. everything is dead, dead as well, man. interstitial oh, is Jesus dead, like Christ. you can't use interstitial. It's just like, man, like it's just, oh. But you know, that's the thing, like everything dead is the best environment for yeah. innovation because you need to yeah. innovate, otherwise you die. You cannot be yeah. complacent like during Corona years. So welcome, yeah. welcome yeah, to yeah. this yeah. new, brave new world. Brave Let's finish on that. That was a great yeah, note. Yeah, yeah. Very good note. Um, Very good note. Happy yeah. birthday again, Voodoo. Yeah. Happy yep. birthday, Voodoo. Thanks for uh, doing such a good job on the on, on the UA admin and game design side as well for uh, Blockchain 3D. Uh, keep uh, a very close eye on, on your next games. Portfolio. Yeah, and we'll definitely yeah. return for another hybrid. Looks yes. promising. Yeah. And for all so of you guys, thank you very much for listening. Uh, subscribe. Share the, the podcast with your industry friends, uh, dogs and cats, especially hybrid casual cats. They love it. And uh, and see see you next time. I guess. Yeah. Join join the Slack. See you there. Join the Slack. Yeah. Cheers. If you want, <laughs> the real slim shady. Yeah, the real slim shady. It's fine. Hello, hello, everybody. Wait, wait, have it... <laughs> wait drink at the same time when you're doing that. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Is it better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think we can. Uh, we can start. Right. Oh fuck! This is spicy. Oh. Welcome, welcome everybody. Wait, are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty okay. I'm pretty okay. All uh, right, let's start. So, Come on. Yeah, yeah three, should, two, one. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> this is uh, session number eighty-nine. My name is Matija Lancharic. I'm Felix Broberg, and I'm Jakub Remiar. Welcome. Uh, so, what are we talking about today? No, you, 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 you yeah. just redo that intro. You fucked up the entire game. Yeah, it's like a week in a row. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, we're not doing that two weeks in a row. Okay, let's start again. Oh, Three, two, God. one.